Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, I thank the Government of Brazil and all governors, local leaders and communities of the Amazon region. Today we have another great opportunity to join global efforts to protect our planet, advance the well-being of our people and to take action against the climate crisis. The Brazil UN Fund for Sustainable Development of the Amazon offers us a chance to do just that. I congratulate the government, the Interstate Consortium of the Legal Amazon, stakeholders and donors. Your engagement highlights the importance of the Amazon and its populations in our efforts to combat the triple planetary crisis. Last year, I had the privilege of visiting the Brazilian Amazon and was humbled by the hospitality of the indigenous people of the Mapuera tribe in Orishimina. I witnessed the majestic strength of the Amazon forest and I also saw illegal mining and deforestation in the Munduruku lands. Despite these challenges, the determination of indigenous and Kilimbola youth helped shaping their future inspired me. They live in and want to protect their region, where the interlinkages between climate change, biodiversity and the well-being of the populations are profound. Supporting every one of the 29 million people living there is not only imperative for their own benefit, but for Brazil's sustainable development prospects at large, and for people and our planet worldwide. We commend the vision of President Lula da Silva for the indigenous people. This is about each individual in our human family, as we all suffer from the drastic impacts of the climate crisis. The partnership of the UN system in Brazil with the federal government and the consortium of the nine states of the Brazilian Amazon is inspiring and encouraging. The United Nations are constantly adapting to deliver results on the ground at scale and to support countries in their efforts to realize the sustainable development goals. It is my hope that the Brazil UN Fund will bring transformative changes for the Amazon, but this will only be possible if sustainable funding is secured. Funds channeled through this mechanism will finance activities aimed at generating sustainable economic alternatives. These initiatives will protect livelihoods and ensure the health, energy, climate and food security of the people in the region. They will also support the development of sustainable cities and human settlements, thereby increasing resilience. This fund will demonstrate that there is no dichotomy between development and climate efforts. It is not about investing in the first or the second. We need both simultaneously and at unprecedented levels. I invite all stakeholders, financial institutions and the private sector to be part of this great objective for the benefit of the Amazonian populations and to ensure we truly leave no one behind. Obrigada.